Uh, I didn't tell them to play my theme song. <laughs> that just worked out really well. Hi guys, I'm Devin. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I agree. Uh, guys, I got a new insecurity today. Good, I went to the dentist uh, and she told me, Devin, you have physical, visible lines in your teeth caused by stress. <laughs> what? Unbelievable! Who's stressed? What's there to be stressed about? Um, I think I'm the only person seeing a therapist as recommended by their dentist. <laughs> Had to happen somehow. But who am I kidding? I can't afford a therapist. I have a TikTok. Um, and I don't know if you've ever been um, clinically diagnosed via your, your TikTok for you page, uh, but they're pretty damn accurate. They're pretty damn accurate. And, you know, I really respect Gen Z in the way that they have brought mental health to the forefront of public conversation. Uh, but I think we can all agree that it's objectively unwise to take medical advice from a video that looks like this. I like this guy. Um, and then the, <laughs> the caption's just gonna be something balls to the wall, like, if this video is on your For You page, you might have fetal alcohol syndrome. <laughs> All right, <laughs> so be it, doc. Um, oh, I got hit by, the, by a car the other day. That was fun for me, a hit and run. They're all over LA. <laughs> but I'll tell you, I was crossing on Sunset. This guy came, at, came through, smacked me down, drove away. I, you know, I know, and I, rec I recovered okay. I'm here today on this stage to tell the tale. Uh, but I, don't, I just, I couldn't believe I got ghosted again. <laughs> this city, man, geez. But uh, I happened to get to a friend of mine. She got in a hit and run. And, uh, I was like, oh my gosh, are you all right? Can I help you? And she's like, yeah, well, the car is totaled, but the EMTs that came to rescue me were the hottest men I had ever seen. Wow. Yeah! And uh, then it hit me. Okay, this might be the last decent way to find an employed man in Los Angeles. <laughs> so I say, let's lean in, ladies. We're all going over to my house. We're all gonna get gussied up hit the town, and get smashed yeah. by a Hyundai Sonata, yeah! <laughs> Agreed, I don't know if you can tell by my material, but I am sexually active, I'm a sexually active young individual. <laughs> yeah! yeah. <laughs> you got me too fired up, man, now I can't do any jokes. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, I went to go get an IUD, um, yeah! If you don't know, IUD is the little Tesla logo they put in your belly so you don't have a baby. Um, and I'm just wondering, what, what the fuck is happening at gynecologists' offices these days? Or any day? I, they haven't updated their tools since medieval times. I don't know if any of you have seen a speculum. Gentlemen, uh, if I had to describe a speculum, it's that little metal thing they, they use to pitch your pussy like a tent. And they stick that thing up there and they come in with their flashlight and they're like... There's gold in there, Cooch, I swear! That's what's in there! There's gotta be something in there! And then you just, you're sitting and they're like, uh, I don't know. I don't know what, I've never looked in there. I don't know. Um, tell me what you see. Can you see my future in there? <laughs> don't see a baby. But the doctor told me, she said, uh, Devin, I'm sorry, I can't do the procedure today. Your cervix is closed. <laughs> For business? <laughs> what? She said, no, your cervix, it's too tight. I can't put it in. I was like, I'm sorry, doctor, one more time into the microphone? <laughs> sorry, uh, uh, too tight? <laughs> yeah, clinically too sexy tight. So you know a little something about me. Um, but 
She said, don't worry, Devin, next time you can come in and I'll give you this prescription. It's a pill you can take that'll dil help you dilate your cervix and prepare for entry. I said, you put, the, put the pencil down, doctor. I know a guy. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, yeah! All right, guys, I've been Devin King. Give it up for Peter Murphy, your host. <laughs>